Hi everyone, welcome to Northern Zen Yoga. My name is Sandra and today we're going to be doing a chair yoga class. It's not going to be a long class, it's going to be approximately 20 minutes, but it will be a good class for those of you who, well, you could use it in a couple of ways. If you can't get down on the floor, now I'm not talking about you can't get up from the floor, that's a whole different problem, but if you can't even get down onto the floor, then you want to start looking at doing your yoga in a chair. So what you need is you need a very sturdy chair, not a flimsy chair that's going to uh, react to your weight shifts. You want to make sure it's very sturdy, it's on the floor, not on your carpet, so that it has a firm foundation. And you want to sit so that your feet are planted on the floor. So that might mean you're not sitting completely back into the chair. You don't want to be back here, and if, especially if you're a shorty like me, and have your feet dangling, that doesn't work. And also, it might make you feel like you want to lounge back in an awkward position. And we want to keep our back nice and straight. So, find a sturdy chair, a comfortable chair. If you're feeling a little bit too uh, uh, hard in your chair, you can always have a cushion chair if you have one available. But if not, sit in your chair, feet on the floor, getting ready to begin. So you could do this exercise either uh, if you are not able to get down on the floor, but also too if you work in an office and you need that little like, you know, uh, seventh inning stretch kind of thing going on where you need to get your blood circulating or maybe you're feeling stiff and achy. And what you want to do is you want to sit in your chair, make sure your chair is in a position where it won't roll, it's not one of those rolling chairs and you have your feet flat on the floor. Okay, we're ready to begin, just like we do in every yoga class. So sitting with our feet planted on the floor, our eyes either soft or closed, and just begin to focus on your breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Let your shoulders relax. Let the tension go out of your shoulders. We're going to begin to breathe into our belly, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Inhale through the nose, into the belly, exhale through the nose, pushing your belly back and up. Take a few more breaths like that, inhaling and exhaling. your chin come up level to the floor. Imagine somebody's pulling you by the top of your head, just yanking you up. Nice and straight. Let's move our shoulders back. And we're going to start doing some circles here. Just loosening up the shoulders. And you'll hear some creaking and cracking and that's okay getting things moving. And we'll stop. We're going to come forward now with the shoulders. So forward and then back. Scratching your arms in if you like. But we don't want to squeeze the shoulders up. We're just rolling the shoulders forward and back. One more time. Then we're going to just start to turn the wrists, get the wrists woken up, and stop and go the other way. And we'll move it up to the elbows. And go back the other way. A little more awkward, some directions. And then we're going to move down to the feet and we're just going to point and lift, point and lift. And then let's start taking our ankle in a circle. 
it's important that we move the joints because by moving them we bring fluid into the joints which help us to move a little more freely and then we'll stop and go the other way and you even hear my bones creaking and cracking this morning and stop and if you can grab underneath your leg or if you can't just Begin to move the knee around a little bit in a circle. You can hold on to your thigh for support. And if it starts to feel too stressful, too painful, even stop. But you want to move in the opposite direction now. Just getting the joint moving a little bit. And put your foot down. Let's start on the other foot now. Point, lift, point, lift. By moving fluid into our joints, we start to do what's a natural assist for our joints in order to move freely. Our joints get very dry, especially if they're not moved around a lot. And let's do a circle with the ankle. And what happens is when it gets dry, it gives an opportunity for the um, material in the joint to start to deform from friction, being moved, rubbing against each other, and it starts to create little um, rough surface which actually aggravates things even more. We'll go the other direction now. In some cases if joints aren't moved at all for a long period of time they actually start to calcify toward each other and become very rigid. So we'll try to move it up to the knee so you can lift up your leg and hang on underneath. Great. If you can't just lift your foot off the floor a little bit and start moving more at the knee than at the ankle. And move the other way. And relax. So we'll begin our sequence now. This is the six directions of the spine done in the chair position. So let's inhale the arms up and we'll exhale them down. Inhale up, exhale down. A couple more times. Inhale, lift up your chin, look up. Exhale, drop your chin into your chest. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale up, and this time on the exhale, we're going to drop over to the right side and stretch. Inhale that arm up and we'll exhale over to the left side, stretch. And you notice I'm putting my hand on the chair seat to keep me from leaning over too far and losing my balance. Inhale up a couple more times. Inhale up. And inhale up. Exhale into prayer. Inhale, push up. And on our exhale, we're going to twist. Twisting to the right. You're going to grab back of the chair here, wherever your chair back is. If you've got rungs, you can reach in a little deeper, perhaps. And remember, we're pushing the shoulders back. We're not trying to twist at the waistline. So just push your shoulder back toward the back of the chair. And if you can, if your neck allows you to, we're going to just gently rotate our chin toward the shoulder. If your neck doesn't allow, just go as far as you can today. Remember, we never hurt ourselves in yoga. We're always working for that nice, achy stretch, but never pain. Once you feel that stretching sensation, you know you're starting to do it. And Yoga is all about getting into the stretch. It's not about whether you can twist your body into a pretzel. Let's come back to center. Inhale up. Exhale. Let's go to the other side. Pushing the left shoulder back this time. Belly forward. Just working on that upper body twist. And again, if you want to, you can bring your chin toward the direction of your shoulder. Get to breathe. Don't hold your breath at any time in yoga. Keep breathing.
and come back to center. Inhale the arms up. Exhale. Let's bring our hands down and grab underneath our leg and we're going to lift our leg up just a little bit toward the chest. Exhale. Bring it down. Inhale the arms up. Exhale. Let's go for the other leg now. Underneath the leg. Lift the leg up. Exhale it down. Inhale up. Exhale. Grabbing this leg again. Let's inhale it up. Exhale down. Inhale up again. Exhale. Going for the other leg now. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. We're going to now move our knees apart so that they're basically in the same, uh, just outside of the feet. If you look down here, you can see where the feet of my chair is. We want to have them just a little wider than that if you can, or as wide as you can today. And then we're going to inhale up and we're going to exhale, bringing our belly down. You're going to put your hands on your thighs. You're going to drop your belly toward the floor as far as you can. We're going for a flat back, push into your thighs, come back up. Now, don't use your knees in this particular position. We don't want to be pressing into our knees. We want to use the big bones we have here to support us. Make sure your bottom is nice and flat on your chair. And we're going to inhale up again. Exhale, hands onto the thighs. And as you exhale, bring your belly down toward the floor. Between your legs, push back up again. Inhale up. Exhale into prayer. Bring your feet back toward each other. Inhale, reaching up. This time we're going to do a back stretch. So we're going to reach behind. We're going to grab the chair wherever you can. If you can reach toward the interior of the chair, your shoulders allow you to do that. Otherwise, be on the outside of the chair. And we're going to inhale our chest up and drop our head back. Inhale. Exhale, come back. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Reach for the back of the chair. Inhale your chin up. Exhale. Let's take another breath here. Inhale. Exhale, coming back down. Inhale up one more time. Exhale. Reach for the back of your chair. Inhale the chin up. Exhale, another breath again. Inhale, exhale, and down. So we're going to put all of those together and we're going to create just a little sequence. We're going to do it once for this side, this leg, and then we're going to repeat it again and we're going to do this leg. So let's inhale the arms up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale up. Let's exhale the arms behind us. Grab the back of the chair. Lift our chin up. Open our chest up. Exhale. Come back down. Inhale up again. Exhale. Reach for this leg. Inhale it up. Exhale down. Inhale back up. Exhale. Side bend to the right. Inhale as you come up. Exhale to the left. Inhale as you come up. Exhale your arms behind you. Inhale the chest up. Lift your chin up. Exhale, come back down. Inhale the arms up. Now we're going for the opposite leg. Reach down. Reach it up. Pull it up toward your chest. Bring it back down again. Inhale up. And as you're inhaling up, open up your legs. Exhale. Come down in the front. Inhale back up again. Feet back together. Exhale into prayer position. Fantastic. Shall we do it one more time? All right. Inhale. Exhale to the side. Inhale up. Exhale to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale. Reach behind. Open the chest. Drop your head back. 
exhale, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale, side bend right, inhale up, exhale to the left, inhale up, exhale down, grab the back of your leg, lift this leg up, drop it back down again, inhale up, exhale, side bend to the right, inhale up, and to the left, inhale up, exhale behind, open your chest, lift your chin up, exhale, inhale up, widen your feet, exhale, hands on the thighs, bring your belly down between your legs, inhale up, bring your feet back together, inhale up, exhale into prayer. We're going to repeat this one more time. And this time we're going to add the twist, shoulder twist. So let's inhale up, exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, coming up, exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale up, exhale. We're going to do the back bend. Reach for the back of your chair, inhale your chin up, exhale your chin down, inhale up. We're going to twist to the right. Just the shoulders are turning. Inhale back up again and we'll twist to the left. Come back to the center. Inhale up. Exhale. Let's reach for our leg. Bring it up. As we inhale, exhale as we bring it down. Inhale up. Exhale. Side bend to the right. Inhale up. Side bend to the left. Inhale, back up again. Exhale, the arms behind you. Reach for your chair. Lift your chin and your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Drop the chin down. Reaching up. Forget we're going into the twist. Exhale. Twisting to the right. Inhale, back up again. Exhale. Twisting to the left. Back to center. Inhale up. Exhale. Reach for your leg, inhale up toward your chest, exhale down, inhale up, exhale, side bend to the right, inhale coming up, side bend left, inhale up, exhale, reach for your chair, inhale, chin up, exhale down, inhale the arms up, Exhale, we'll twist to the right, Come back to center, inhale the arms up, we'll twist to the left, Come back to center, inhale up, exhale, we're going for the opposite leg this time, inhale that leg up, exhale down, and we're going to sit for just a second, shoulders back. Readjust all your clothing if it's been all pulled apart. Sitting nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment. And I want you to feel your body. Feel if you feel some tingling going on. So we're going to come back into that wide leg stance and we're going to come down we're going to spend a few breaths here this time. So make sure you're supporting yourself by pressing into your legs, not into your knees, into your legs and just come down as far as you can. If this is as far as you can come, that's fine and you can feel something in your body that is being stretched. This is where you're at. If you can come down deeper and deeper and deeper. And the goal is to reach for the floor eventually. If you have a block, and I don't know where my block went, but someplace here, if you have a block, you can always have the block on the high side to reach down for, for support. Or you can have um, a stool, a small stool, that you can put your hands down on. And that is always a good idea when you're going into a forward position. If you feel that your balance is really bad, 
have something here that you can put your hands on. A small stool, a little coffee table, something else that you have there just in case you come forward. So let's bring our belly down again. Try to keep both of your cheeks planted down. Don't lift up or push up. Let's come back up. You're still in a sitting position. We're going to stretch out the right leg. And this leg can be in any position that feels comfortable now. It can be bent in if you like. It can be out here for a little more support. We're going to turn over toward this leg and again we're using our thigh bone as our leverage never our knee we're not reaching for our knee if you can reach to below your knee that's okay but if you can't just bringing your belly down toward your leg bone so hands are here we're coming down just a little bit don't lift up your cheeks to get down deeper don't worry about your chin you're worrying about trying to bring your belly and your chest toward your leg push up Pushing into the bone of your leg. Let's come down again. Inhale. Exhale as we come down. And again, if you have a block or a couple of blocks, you can always have them here for you. And I apologize I don't have mine here to show you what I'm talking about. But in the meantime, your leg is the one thing you're going to be relying on to help push you back up again. Let's do it one more time. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Dropping down over that leg. And you can probably feel a stretch happening in the back of your leg. You might feel a stretch in your back of your hip. And we'll come back up again. And bring this leg up. And we're going to stretch this leg out. So turning toward that leg. Take a deep breath. Make sure you're using your leg bone to help you to support yourself coming down. Take a few breaths here. Inhale back up again. Take another inhale. Exhale. Come back up. And this one here, you know, you just if you can flatten it down to the floor, fantastic. Otherwise, resting on your heel is fine. Just make sure it's not going to be sliding on you. Take another inhale, exhale, bringing our belly down toward our leg. And inhale up. Bringing our legs back into this position again. So we're going to start a little bit of a sequence. So legs apart, we're going to inhale, exhale forward. Inhale up. Stretch this leg out. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. Flatten this foot out. Let's stretch this leg out. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale back up. Flatten that foot up. Inhale. Exhale. Coming down the middle. Inhale back up. Exhale. Stretch your leg out. Inhale. Exhale. Meaning over that leg. Come back up. Exhale. Stretch the other leg out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back up. And exhale. We're going to go now trying to do a posture called chair pose. We're sitting in the chair. Normally we would be standing and we would try to get into this chair, but we're going to do it in the reverse. So we're going to bring our feet together, our knees together, our toes are pointed toward each other and spread out just a little bit for support. So there's two things you can do. You can push into your chair to help raise your bum up. It may not be using your leg muscles as much, but it will actually be we're using your arm muscles. <coughs> So it, either way you're doing it, it's a win-win. The other way, which I would like you to try first, is to bring, sorry, to bring your arms out in front and lift up your bum and sit back down. Inhale up, exhale down. And I want you to do that a few times. And if you can stay up longer before you have to sit back down again, 
fantastic. You can also push your knees toward each other for support here. Come back down. Knees pushing into each other creates a much more stable position. So you might want to begin, and your toes are slightly toward each other, you want to begin with knees together, see if you can get off the chair and hold it for a couple of breaths. Come back down again. And if that seems like too much, then push into the chair and then let go and then come back down again. This is also going to assist in your balance. So you want to make sure that when you lift yourself up that you're feeling secure and that when you drop back down, you're going to drop back into your chair seat. So inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Inhale up and exhale down. Let's try one more time. Inhale up, exhale down. Fantastic, thank you. Okay, now let's stretch out these two legs. And we're going to come forward and we want you to push your toes toward the floor. And inhale the toes up. Push the toes down toward the floor. Let's see if you can see my feet better here. Inhale up. Push your toes down. You want to try to touch your toes to the floor. This may not be easy for you. If it's not, just go as far as you can today. So you can feel the front of your feet stretching out. Inhale up. So pointing the toes. Now we're going to come down with our belly into our lap. So if you need to, you can hold on to the chair or you can put your hands here for support. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your belly down. If you can reach lower, great. If you have something else here, a stool or something to stabilize you, or you can grab onto your chair for support. And just let yourself get heavy. Now, if you only made it this far, that's okay. Again, if you're feeling something stretching someplace that is stopping you from going deeper, that's yoga. That's what yoga is about. So coming down, coming down onto as far as you can, bringing your belly toward your lap. Use your hands to push you back up. Inhale. Exhale. Let's bring our belly down again. Inhale up. One more time. Inhale. Exhale as we come down. Pushing against our legs to come back up. We're going to come into what's called a warrior pose. So we're going to turn this leg over to the side. Our foot is facing this way. And we're just, uh, you can see that the side of my chair is here. So my leg is hanging over on the opposite side here of the chair. This leg, I'm going to bring this leg back as far as I can till I feel a nice stretch in here. Okay? If you're able to press your foot right down, that's fantastic, and stretch your leg right out, uh, that's okay. But you might only be here. This might only be you. Or you might only get to here. That's all right, too. It's, again, as long as you can feel what you're stretching, you're doing it. So getting into warrior position. Turning sideways. Facing the leg as much as we can. So we want to get this belly and our hips forward as much as we can. Inhale, reach up. Breathe here. Take a deep breath. Exhale slowly. Inhale slowly. Exhale slowly. And your arms may only be able to get up here today. That's okay. And if you feel like you have to, put one arm down on your chair for support so you can stretch out a little more. That's all right too. And come back down. Slowly come back into your chair. We're going to flip over and go the opposite direction. So notice again, when I'm in these positions, my knee and my ankle are always lined up together. I don't have my foot like this. I don't have, well, I don't have too much stretched out. Stretching out this way is better than this way. We don't want to put too much pressure on our kneecap. But this is the ideal position. So. Pushing our leg back as far as we can today, stretching this leg out, trying to get our foot to touch the floor, nice and flat. Turning our body so that it's toward this leg. We're going to inhale the arms up. And again, if you want to hang on to your chair, you want to put one arm here and just lift up this arm this time, that's okay. 
Take a few breaths here. Inhale, exhale. And come back down, come back to center. We're going to come into warrior two. We're going to start off in the same position. This time we're going to push this leg back as far as we can. And if you have to bring it out toward the front, that's okay. And we're going to be sideways. So this leg has to be wherever it feels good for you today to be able to keep your foot on the floor, keep your leg stretched out as much as you can, and keep this leg facing forward. Now, this particular posture might almost feel like Mission Impossible for you because you're feeling too much stuff stress in here in the groin area. As long as it's not sharp pains, try to breathe with it. Try to stretch yourself a little more, opening up the hip joints, stretching our arms out, looking over toward our fingers over here, warrior two. We're going to drop this hand down. We're going to grab the back of our chair. And we're going to, sorry, the side of our chair here, the seat. And we're going to lift this hand up toward the ceiling and have a look at our face. I'm sorry, have a look at our palm. And we're going to bring it back down. We're going to drop our arm onto our thigh bone. We're going to turn our shoulder so toward the, the ceiling. And we're going to lift this arm up and reach over our ear. And let's come back down, bringing this hand down, grabbing onto your chair, and lift this arm back up. And exhale. And be back into warrior two. Relax. Bring your legs in. If you need to shake your legs out here for a second, that's okay. Let's switch to the other side. So we're going to stretch this leg out wherever we can. We're sideways now, reaching out sideways, turning our head toward this hand this time. So this hand, this knee, facing this way. Drop the hand down, grab the back, sorry, the seat of the chair, and we're going to inhale that hand up. Exhale, bend your elbow. Bring your arm down onto your thigh. Lift the shoulder up toward the ceiling. Inhale that arm right over your ear. Exhale. Bring it back down. Grab onto your chair. Lift this hand back up one more time. And exhale back into warrior two. Drop your hands down. Help rearrange your legs. Shake them out. You might be feeling it right up in here. Even I did. So, our last posture we're going to do is going to be a balanced posture. So what I'd like you to do is to stand up, get your chair here, beside your chair, and we're going to work on our tree pose. So tree pose is going to be simply, we can start out like this. So you have your chair here for your support. And you're going to see how that feels. See if you can lift your hand off and feel balanced. If this is easy peasy, then we're going to start to lift up our foot off of the floor and find our balance here. The first thing you want to do is play around with the foot that's planted. Find a position where that foot feels very stable. We want to watch our ankles though. Our ankles may be a little bit frail, especially if you have low mobility issues. So don't be worrying about if you can't really lift up your hand off of the chair for more than a fraction of a second and have to put it back down again. You want to feel that wobbling sensation in your ankle and in your leg, but you don't want to be rocking and rolling like this on it. So if you can feel fairly stable here, you can stay like this. If you feel like you could get up a little higher, always use your chair for your support, then you can move higher. Now, you might be more like this in your position, and that's going to throw off your balance, actually. So what we want to do is we want to try to move that opening of the hip up a little bit more. So you're better off being down here, 
your hip open to the side than to be way up here and doing one of these things. So find your balance, find your spot, and your chair is here when you need it. Just even touching it gently with one finger does a lot of good. And we're going to switch to the other side now. <clears throat> Balancing one side, now we're going to balance off the other side. So this time we're planting the other foot, the opposite foot down, whether it was your left or right you started with is up to you. And we're going to begin by just finding our first balance place. Our, this is called kickstand in tree pose. And then see if you can lift it up a little further. And then we're going to bring our arms out and we're going to use the chair for our balance. You can do this wherever feels good. We're just never going to push our heel and our foot into our knee area. That's very dangerous. And again, we're trying to open up, trying to get the, um, the leg out Opening up the hip, coming back to position. Sit back down on your chair. So now we're just going to close our eyes. We're going to finish off the class today with a few more deep breaths and a Shavasana. So sit back as far as you can in your chair and still have your feet nicely planted. And if you can, if you want to lean back now because you're going into Shavasana, that's okay. If you want, um, at this point, if you want to move yourself over to a couch, you could even lay down on your sofa. Uh, you could lay down on um, a bed if you like for your Shavasana. But in any case, let's get into a more comfortable position. Let's roll our shoulders a little bit more again making sure that we're feeling nice and relaxed. Close your eyes. Take a few long, slow, deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Make sure you're breathing into your belly, pushing your belly out. And on your exhale, you're pushing your belly back in again. So inhale, exhale. Inhale nice and deep. We push the belly up, take lots of air in, right down to the bottom. Open up your mouth and sigh it out. Oh. Let's do that again. Inhale through the nose, into the belly. And out through the mouth. Oh. Once more. Inhale in through the nose, push your belly out. Exhale through the mouth. you rest here. Just let your body become more relaxed. Put your hands in a position that feels comfortable now and you feel fairly balanced and relaxed at the same time. You want, you can let your chin drop into your chest if that feels better. Let your shoulders relax. Spread your feet out a little wider so that you feel more grounded. Let your jaw relax. And you imagine in your mind a beautiful place, a place where you always feel completely at peace. No matter where that is, it could be your room, it could be your garden, it could be a place that you were very fond of even back into your childhood. Take yourself there and spend some time.
Let your eyes float open. Let's bring our palms together. Take a few deep breaths, opening up your eyes, bringing your awareness back. We'll close our class today by chanting one OM. So we're going to take an inhale and an exhale first, and then on the next inhale, we'll begin our OM. Inhale, exhale, inhaling for OM. Oh. Rub your hands together. Thinking of all the places inside you that need this lovely healing energy. Your prana, your chi, your energy. Close your eyes, place your palms over your closed eyes, and when you breathe in, open them. Sending that energy right into the spot where it has to go. Exhale. Bring it back out to the universe. And scoop up just a little bit. Bring it back to your heart center. Namaste, everyone. Now remember, chair yoga is yoga. And it will maybe feel like you've done something in a few hours or even by tomorrow morning. So don't be afraid of that. This is a good sign. When you feel achy, pain-y things happening in the muscles that have stretched or ache the next day or joints that feel a little bit tender, this is a sign that you have moved things. And don't be afraid of that. If you really feel like, well, I need to take a break today because I'm feeling achy today from yesterday's yoga, then take that break. But if you feel like you could go and through the, do this class again for several days in a row, you're going to find a big difference is going to happen in your body. And what we really want to do is, unless you have certain circumstances, like you're in a wheelchair, you need to start to get yourself to the place where you can get down to the mat. And chair yoga is the way to get there. You need to have patience with your body. It's not going to happen after one yoga class, but it will happen, and it'll happen according to your body's ability to to stretch and to change at this point in time in your life. And for everybody, it's different. But know that achy joints and achy muscles are a sign that you did something wonderful to your body. And your body eventually will start to move much more freely, much more easily, and then you have much less pain. And that is the important thing to remember. So if you enjoyed this class, Please share it with your friends and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, it's very important that you do that. Please press subscribe and you'll be notified whenever there's a new yoga class coming on to my video feed. Share it with your friends. You know you know people who, just like you, need to move their bodies. Share it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.